Good morning. We really have no choice but to worry about the future as well as the present. We expect calm in the local markets at least at start today as most participants would have utilized the Republic Day holiday to mull over the latest RBI move. Since the central bank's action was in line with the consensus estimate and there weren't any nasty surprises, the markets could retrieve some of the lost ground. The FNO expiry today might just lead to some intraday gyrations, especially towards the close of trade. One needs to be a little bit careful amid continuing uncertainty over the near-term prospects for the Indian markets. While the interest rates are set to harden further and could pose a challenge for the Indian economy, all eyes are on whether there will be any softening in inflation. Despite strong global markets, especially in the US, the Nifty has been struggling to surpass 5,800 levels. Any recovery could be short-lived unless the Nifty sustains above 5,850 levels. Globally, the Dow flirted with 12,000. Wall Street gained after the Fed left rates and its QE2 program unchanged. European markets advanced as well. Asian markets are not doing a whole lot this morning. Arvind, HDFC Bank, Dana Bank, FT, IRB Infra, GSW Steel, Consign Aerolic, Marico, Nevali Lignite, Lupin, Jain Irrigation, NHPC, SpiceJet, Thermex, TTML and Tata Chemicals are among the leading companies declaring their results today. FIIs were net buyers of Rs 2.73 billion in the cash segment on Tuesday according to the provisional NSC data. FIIs were net buyers at Rs 19.98 billion in the FNO segment. The foreign funds were net buyers of Rs 1.95 billion in the cash segment on Monday according to the SEBI website. Shares of Dalmia Bharat Enterprise Limited will get listed today pursuant a scheme of arrangement. Mid Valley Enterprise Limited shares will make their debut today after the IPO was subscribed four times. The issue price has been fixed at Rs 70 per share. LNT has formed a joint venture with Japan's Kobe Steel for manufacturing equipment for tyre and rubber industry for global market with total investment of Rs 600 million. ONGC has found shale gas indication from the pilot R&D project in West Bengal. GVK Power and Infrastructure will develop international airports at Bali and Java in Indonesia. Coal India's ERP project valued at Rs 7 billion get only 2 bits. Mm -hmm. Moving on to our recommendations, the technical calls for the day are We advise buying Union Bank in the range of Rs 331 to Rs 333 for the stop loss placed at Rs 326.5 and for the target price of Rs 346. We recommend traders to sell Kotak Bank February futures below Rs 408 with a stop loss placed at Rs 414 and for the target price of Rs 395. Our derivative strategy for the day are Longambuja Cement February Futures in the range of Rs 128 to 129 for the target price of Rs 134 and a stop loss placed at Rs 126. Long GSPL February Futures in the range of Rs 104 to 105 for the target price of Rs 110 and a stop loss placed at Rs 101. Thank you. Wish you have a great day ahead.